Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. This series of videos will cover all of the features in contact. We'll continue with the editors. The group editor. Groups are the most important aspect of an instrument. They provide a way to combine and use a common signal path for any number of zones. And they also allow you to define conditions on which zones will be played. Adjust the voice allocation and provides a way to change parameters of multiple groups at the same time. The group editor provides a convenient way to create, delete, access, name, and manage groups in your instrument. To access the group editor, enter instrument mode and click the group editor button. The group editor is divided into four sections. At the top is a control header, below that is a groups list, and at the bottom are rows of parameters for voice group assignments. The control header provides common utilities for group management. Let's look at each element in detail. Edit all groups. When this button is enabled, all parameters you change at the group level will affect all groups in the instrument currently being edited. This is the same as checking all edit boxes in a group edit list. The button is also available in the rack header when you are in instrument edit mode. Make sure you switch this off after making your changes um, or you're liable to make changes in other groups that you didn't want to touch. The group selector. This is next to the edit all groups button. It's a label that indicates the currently selected group and the total number of groups in your instrument. Click on it to display a drop down menu of all the groups in the instrument and select the one you want. Clicking on the group name in the rack header does the same thing. There is a difference though. When you use a group selector in the rack header, you can only select one group for editing. If you currently have multiple groups selected, selecting an option in the drop down will deselect all other options. Edit. This is a drop down menu that contains a number of utility functions, which mostly affect all groups that are currently selected in the groups list. Groups that are selected will have a filled or hollow rectangle. You can also right click inside the group editor and the monitor tab to access the edit menu. Set edit flag for selected groups. This enables the selected groups for editing. Groups that are enabled for editing will have a checkbox in front of their name. Delete selected groups. This deletes any selected groups. If any of the groups contain zones, they will be deleted as well. Purge empty groups. This will delete all groups that don't contain any zones. Copy selected groups. This copies the selected groups to the clipboard. Cut selected groups. This moves the selected group in its zone to the clipboard. Duplicate groups. This creates identical copies of the selected groups. Paste groups with samples. This inserts the contents of the group clipboard into the group list with their zones and samples. Paste groups without samples. This inserts the contents of the group clipboard into the group list without zones and samples. Export edited group. This function allows you to save the currently selected group to an NKG file to use with other instruments. This function only works on the currently displayed group. When you click this function, a save as dialog will appear with functions similar to saving an instrument. Import group. This loads a group and adds it to your instrument along with all of its zones and samples. This command also allows you to import battery cells. Group solo. 
When activated, all groups except the currently selected one will be muted. Select by MIDI. If this button is enabled, you can select groups by playing notes on your keyboard. Velocity along with MIDI notes are used, so you can select groups by playing lighter or harder. Group list. This pane displays a list of all groups in the instrument currently being edited. Here you can select groups and, and enable them for editing. To select a group, select its name. It will be highlighted, highlighted with a filled rectangle and group level controls will show the parameters of this group. Edit menu commands will operate on this group only. Double click in an entry allows you to change its name. Only one group can be displayed at a time, but you can select multiple groups by holding control or command clicking or shift clicking. Selections made like this only affects which groups the edit menu acts on. The checkbox next to a group name indicates whether this group is selected for editing. Enable the checkboxes of multiple groups to move controls of the currently selected group. The parameters of the other groups will be affected as well. Since this can result in, in unintentional changes, be sure to check the edit mode of other groups before doing any adjustments on group level modules. The indicator in the rack header will display how many and which groups are currently being enabled for editing. Also, the monitor tab in the browser offers an alternate view of groups that can simplify managing groups and changing their parameters. I highly recommend using this view when managing an instrument with large number of groups. Voice groups. Voice groups allow you to fine tune how voices are allocated to groups. 128 voice groups are predefined in every instrument. By default, groups are not assigned to a voice group, but share the pool of voices as defined in the instrument header. By assigning some of your groups to the 128 voice groups and adjusting that voice group's parameters, you can define a new set of voice allocation rules for those groups. The voice groups can be assigned and edited in the strip below the group list of the group editor. Selecting a voice group from the drop down menu on the left will assign all currently selected groups to this voice group and display its parameters in the fields to the right. Voices. This adjusts the maximum number of voices that can be used by the groups in the voice group. Voices. This adjusts the maximum number of voices that can be used by groups in the voice group. If a sample is triggered and the maximum voice count has already been reached, voices will be sacrificed and recycled. Mode. This setting determines which of the currently allocated voices will be sacrificed and recycled if a newly triggered sample would exceed the maximum voice count for this voice group. Kill any. This lets contact decide what to do. Kill oldest. The oldest still playing sample will be cut off. Kill newest. The newest recently triggered sample will be cut off. Kill highest. The note with the highest pitch will be cut off. Kill lowest. The note with the lowest pitch will be cut off. Prefer release notes. If this button is activated and the voice group runs out of voices, contact will give already released notes a higher priority when it decides which voices to keep. Fade time. 
This adjusts how long a sacrifice voice will fade out before it disappears. The fade out length is specified in milliseconds. Exclusive group. This drop down menu allows you to, to assign the current voice group to one of the 16 ex exclusive groups. Assigning two or more voice groups to the same exclusive group will cause samples from one voice group to cut off still sounding samples from the other voice groups assigned to the exclusive group. Group start options. By default, each zone in the group will play its assigned sample when a note is received that matches its keyboard and velocity range. For more control about when zones in a group play, we use group start options. Group start options allow you to define a range of conditions that have to be met before the group will become active and output any sound. The list of these conditions is hidden from the group editor. To show it, click on the group start option, options button in the lower left corner of the group editor. Each row of this list has a drop down menu on the left hand side. To add a condition to the list, select its general type from the menu first. To the right, contact will show the respective parameters that belong to the condition, along with labels explaining what they are. Also, there is an operator dropdown that logically combines the entry with the next one. The group start options list include the following conditions. Always. This is a no op value. If it's the only value in the list, the group will always be active. In lists with more than one row, this condition serves as a marker for the last row in the list, as well as an entry that deletes the rows from the list when you choose it. Start on key. This condition lets you define key switches. A group with this condition will be disabled until a trigger note within a defined range is received. It will be disabled again when another group in your instrument with the start on key condition becomes active so that you can switch between groups with single keystrokes. Start on controller. The group will become active when contact receives a MIDI controller value within a specified range. It will be de deactivated again when a controller value outside the range is received. Cycle round robin. All groups that have this condition in their group start options and contain zones that match the key and velocity range of the incoming note will be cycled in a round robin fashion on each similar note. Cycle random. Like cycle round robin, but notes will be cycled randomly instead of sequentially. Slice trigger. This option was used by slice groups in contact too. It's only provided for backwards compatibility and should not be used. By adding multiple conditions to the list and connecting them with logical operators, you can create complex combinations of conditions. Keep in mind that the last entry in the list will be an always condition and won't be taken into account when your list contains at least one other condition. The group editor is where you'll spend most of your time and after watching this tutorial, you should have no problem organizing your zones. Next up, we'll go over the mapping editor. And don't forget to check out our website, www.contacttutorials.com, for more tutorials on contact. ADSR contact tutorials. Supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.